the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had asked to meet with the mum of a special forces hero who killed himself after suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. The pair stayed and chatted with Viv Johnston and refused to leave her side until the conversation was over. Ms. Johnston lost her son Danny, 35, after he was found hanged in a woodland in May last year. He was part of the elite Special Reconnaissance Regiment and spent four years taking part in undercover missions in Afghanistan and Iraq to pinpoint targets for the SAS. The 62-year-old mom spent time telling the royals about her son ahead of the military-related Endeavor Awards held last week. They talked about losing a loved one and discussed the problems of PTSD. The Duke and Duchess were so involved in their conversation with the bereaved mom that they were late to the awards ceremony. The mum of three told the Sunday people three very panicked blokes came in at one stage and said sir, we have to go, people are waiting, and he said well, I'm talking, and we carry it on chatting. Megan was so sweet and caring. They both were very genuine, and I was very moved that they cared so much about what had happened to Danny, that meant a lot. Prince Harry who is an Afghan war veteran himself, wrote to Ms. Johnston after learning about Danny's death through through a friend who works in Kensington Palace. Ms. Johnston, of Bognor Regis, added, after Dan died I received a letter of condolences from Prince Harry. He said he was very sad to hear about what had happened to Dan. He was clearly very moved. Ms. Johnston said the couple also asked about all call signs, a veteran's mental support charity she set up after Danny's death. Prince Harry and Meghan accepted wristbands with the charity's logo on it and were interested to hear about the efforts the mum was making in the organization. She added, I explained that it was an early warning system to get vulnerable veterans or service personnel who go missing to be found quickly, and he said he thought it was a great idea. I then asked if he would like an all-call signs wristband. I expected someone to take them away once I handed them over, but both he and Megan smiled, said thank you, and put them straight on 